Okay, now let's look at our tortoise and hare questions, but showing them on a graph. Well, showing them on several graphs. Here we're going to have graph for the hare and graph for the tortoise, but that's with a slope greater than zero, a positive slope. And down here we're going to have a graph for the hare and a graph for the tortoise, but a is less than zero, it's a negative slope. With the positive slopes, we defined our y-axis as the number of kilometers covered. So as time goes by, more kilometers have been covered, so the line will tilt upwards. The hare starts at zero, because at zero time, he has not covered any of the kilometers yet, and eventually he gets to five kilometers, y is the number of kilometers covered, and he's at the finish line when he gets to that point. This is going to happen after 4.17 minutes, so I have to scale my x-axis like this for it to make sense. Now we do the same thing with the tortoise. It's going to look the same because the tortoise also starts with zero kilometers at time zero and has to get to the finish line but it takes the tortoise 500 minutes to do that. So I have to scale my axes very different. And now it makes sense for the tortoise. The graph actually looks the same. The trick is, of course, trying to show them both on the same graph at the same time. That would be tricky. When the slopes are negative, it's not very different, but they have to start with five kilometers left to cover, and then they have to get to zero. And of course, it takes the hare 4.17 minutes to do that. So I'm scaling the axes very similarly. For the tortoise, it's the same but I have to scale the axes so that 500 minutes fits. And I'm scaling them the same way I did up here. What this shows us is that we can visualize this problem in two different ways depending on how we define our y variable. If it's kilometers covered, that means we will have a positive slope in the straight line equation and our line will look like this. It looks the same for the hare and the tortoise, but the x-axis has to be scaled differently in order to fit because the numbers are so different. If you have y defined as the number of kilometers left, then you have to do it like this. That means that your slope is negative and you end up with this type of line where the zero gives us the answer to the question.